We are seeing the first signs of those emerging cicadas popping up across Chicago. Ooh, they're right there. Chris. Yes, they are. The insects <laughs> could do quite a bit of damage to young and unhealthy trees for the Morton Arboretum. That means they have a lot of work ahead. They need to cover about 500 of their own plants. The sound of chorus frogs will soon give way to the chorus of 17 year cicadas in northern Illinois. Their periodic appearance allows only for periodic study. Therefore, science around cicadas is still emerging. Scientists have found certain trees and shrubs to be vulnerable to females laying their eggs. They're common landscape plants like crab apple, birch, hickory, oak. Cicadas lay eggs in small branches, one eighth of an inch to two inches in diameter. In smaller plants, those are all the branches that they have, are those small, vulnerable branches. So the folks at Morton Arboretum recommend covering young woody plants with netting that keeps the cicadas out, allows light in, and lets the trees breathe. We're looking for fine mesh netting bird netting, insect netting no bigger than a quarter inch across. These plant care specialists have been monitoring the soil and believe cicadas will be making an appearance in the next couple of weeks. So netting those plants now is imperative. If we don't protect those trees, the damage that the female causes when she lays her eggs can actually cause branch and twig dieback, um, which is less recoverable. And the entire plant can die if it's already struggling or new to the landscape. Some folks may not like the noise and the mess cicadas make, but they do aerate and provide nutrients for the soil when they decompose. Still, if you don't want your young plants harmed, start netting today. You're going to want to leave them on your woody plants in your home landscape or in your neighborhood for approximately six weeks. The complete list of host trees can be found on the Morton Arboretum website.